We did the scanning, besides just being, you know, just for curiosity yeah. or whatever, um, to see what kind of cars we could find that were vulnerable and like what years, what makes what models, that kind of stuff, how many there are. So the interesting thing from us before, like all the recall happened was it was like, not only was it 2014, but it was like 2013 cars, 2015 cars, and so on. So lots of, of vulnerable vehicles. And it turns out there's actually more than this. The air conditioning, you can GPS, you can, we didn't, but you can imagine turn on the microphone. So yeah. anything that has to do with just the radio, you can do at this point. And then you can kill the knobs, so you can't turn it down. So the knobs do nothing. This is what we did to Greenberg on the highway. <laughs> Dude, now I'm going to tell it to turn the windshield wipers on, which requires cam messages. There we go. Now I think it's running. And there it goes. Yay! We got the Jeep to send its GPS coordinates to a web server, and we would pull that web server every so often, and then put a pin drop on a Google map. And I could watch Charlie go to the grocery store, and I could tell you, hey, he's speeding up because the pins are getting farther apart, or hey, he's slowing down, the pins are getting closer together. So we have nice Google map tracking for all your NSA needs, so you can track him wherever he goes, and it's pretty sweet. So I'm driving his car from remotely. Yeah. And if you'll listen. I'm going to go right next to it. So I'm going to drive next to a pole. Parallel park it. Hackers can make a real world difference. This isn't just InfoSec anymore. We affect the real world. People know about this stuff that aren't in the industry, and it's awesome. And we want people to continue to do this work. Take this, go do new cars, do new stuff.